TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from uh, cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we've got the uh, Dow trading down about 300 points, 9 tenths of a percent. The S&P is off 32, 8 tenths. NASDAQ 104, 7 tenths. Russell's off 2.5%, 54 points. Semis are down 53 bucks. That's off 1.61%. Uh, the trannies are up 60 points. Spot volatility is only up a buck 50. That's 8.6.8% out there. Gold's up $7. Silver, 3 cents. Uh, let's take a look at... Let's take a look at let's take a look at our nine panel charts out here. We'll do these quickly. The ES mini right now testing a level of support. That's the top of its daily profile at 41.31. Spot volatility still below the 50-day exponential moving average of 2027. Things will not get rock and roll into the downside unless we see the spot volatility close above 2027. The NQ is pulled back, and if this is just a counter trend move to the downside, it has found support at 13.739. If 13.739 doesn't hold, 13.521 would be next up. U.S. dollar index is put in a bottom. It's called a TD9 count bottom. We're expecting a, at least a, a counter trend rally or a rally to higher price out there. That should at least uh, cap gold. Gold's got a brand new profile it's trying to form. Resistance at 1783. Silver, the same thing. Resistance at 2621. Support, though, is really key. If the US dollar index is going to move higher, you could see gold pull back to the 1729, 1736 level and silver, 2485 to 2536. Light Sweet Crude wants to continue to move higher. This broke out. It's got to change and trend signal even the move lower today was nothing more than a retest of the breakout of the top of that daily profile a natural gas looks like it wants to go target the 286 over time that's the top of the weekly profile and the 30-year treasury looks like it wants to continue to move higher too because price is trading above 157.23 that's the top of its new bear structured daily profile a quick peek in on indices out here we'll do that and go to this uh, nine panel eight panel set of charts out here the one indice that is generating a bottoming signal which means it could bottom between today Tuesday and Thursday is the semiconductor index. This is going to form bar number eight today of a TD nine count it needs to form bar number nine tomorrow and if it does the semis will be generating a bottom signal. Folks, stay tuned for uh, 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 David White. He's coming up next, and have a uh, have a terrific Tuesday. Take care. Be safe.